Hey, what's up, guys? Guess what? Fun fact, uh, this little Lego shark right here actually works a lot better than the shark from Jaws. Seriously, it does. You know why? Because this one actually works, as opposed to uh, the shark from Jaws, which just kept on falling apart every uh, five effing minutes. So, um, I went to see the Meg yesterday, and I said I would review it, but I had a ton of technical problems, like I'm experiencing right now. Yeah. My television's acting up weird and stuff. My tablet was having problems. I switched my mouse again because the other mouse had problems. And uh, you may have noticed that I had time to take a shower, change my clothes, and even cut my hair. Uh, regardless, all of that has nothing to do with the Meg. Um, I went and saw the Meg yesterday, and I had a very fun time as I previously mentioned in my uh, before and after uh, video. That uh, movie was so fun and entertaining, it didn't take itself seriously at all, and frankly, I didn't want it to. I mean, it's a movie about a giant shark that's eating people. I mean, how much plot do you need? I sure you could have made it a little better, made made it maybe a a modern day Jaws. But I mean, Jaws is Jaws, and you're never gonna recapture that uh, magic. So all you can do is just make the best movie you can, and uh, hope people will like it. I guess. So. Um, the movie starring Jason Statham. Um, Jason is amazing in this movie. Uh, not much to say about that. I mean, it's Jason Statham being Jason Statham in the Jason Statham movie. Jason Statham ish. Me. Uh, he really delivered uh, on the whole uh, tough guy action movie uh, part. He wasn't just a. Uh, a cardboard cutout of some muscular dude saving a bunch of people from sharks. He had an arc. He uh, had some development, I guess, if you can call it that. Um, he had an interesting backstory. He was uh, in a prologue that I'm not uh, going to spoil what it was. You just have to see the movie for yourselves. He had uh, several different relationships with several different characters. And overall, um, Jason delivered on his part. The rest of the uh, a cast that I apologize, I haven't really uh, bothered to uh, look up, but um, they were okay as well. Um, Ruby Wo Rose was there. Uh, obviously, she's going to be playing uh, Batwoman in the uh, Arrow crossover this year or maybe the next year, I'm not sure. So I, I kind of went into the movie expecting to... Uh, sort of evaluate her as uh, an upcoming bad woman, which is something uh, sorry, which is something you should never really do when you walk into a movie that it's completely on a different subject, but I just, I'm sorry, I couldn't really help myself. She was really good. Uh, I can say that. Uh, and I'm very excited to see uh, what she does with the role of Batwoman. And I, I gotta be honest, this is not a spoiler, but there's a moment in the movie where uh, Jason Statham's character, uh, Jonas, I believe, uh, walks up to her and, sh and basically says, uh, Who the hell are you? And she's, she, and I was like, um, trying to suppress the need to say, I'm Batwoman! But I just couldn't do it. Anyway, um, the, uh, the cast itself was a very international cast, uh, uh, it was a mix of Asians, uh, there was definitely a, an African-American uh, actor in there, as I mentioned, Ruby Rose, who I uh, believe is uh, from the LGBTQ uh, community, I'm 
not 100% on that, but uh, I think she is. Uh, wow, I'm just uh, botching this review. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I should have done it uh, last night. I apologize. But uh, this is just. Uh, I wanted this. I don't want this review to uh, go on for too long. I just want to quickly say my thoughts on it. This movie was nice, fun, uh, stupid, dumb action movie, which is uh, really kind of uh, what I expected it. I mean, the first trailer kind of made it look like a, it, it might have been a horror movie, and it was. There, there were some uh, definitely some horror moments in it. I definitely wouldn't uh, take uh, little children to go to see it. Um, Lots of violence, lots of uh, blood, obviously. Uh, lots of really shock value uh, moments of just uh, sitting in a, uh, well, well, I guess floating in calm, deep water, blackness mostly. You don't see anything. And BAM! There's a giant shark the size of a yacht. And he's about to uh, swallow you. He's not even gonna bother to chew. He's just swallowing you whole. Um, there, there was definitely some certain characters that uh, didn't work for me uh, in certain moments, and they kind of did work for me in other moments. I enjoyed uh, the storyline with the uh, father and then his daughter. Uh, I enjoyed. Uh, J Jason Statham's uh, relationship with uh, the Asian woman as well as his ex and I guess you can kind of say it's a minute spoiler but uh, uh, it, it was fun and I figured it was uh, worth a mention uh, what else um, I kind of in really enjoyed the uh, structure of the movie it's it's definitely uh, taken a few cues from uh, Jaws, which is pretty much a given, because it's a giant shark movie, but uh, I don't know if I can call it a spoiler, but technically the movie's already been out for two weeks, and we just now open in my country, so I guess I can openly uh, talk about it. Um, they kind of went to the uh, Jaws uh, method of... Uh, killing several uh, sharks before they get to the big one and I mean that literally the big one um, it, uh, it mostly uh, was a pretty paint by numbers shark attack movie but it was a fun enjoyable one and not a, a terrible one uh, definitely a lot better than uh, what I've heard a lot of people say about this movie and uh, this movie was much much better than I expected it to be and to be honest, I really wasn't expecting that much. So, uh, mostly because of the other reviews I've heard about it. But, uh, it worked for me, maybe it'll work for you. So, uh, until next time. Hello again everybody, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel where I do all kinds of weird stuff like showcase all these things, you know, trailer reactions, movie reviews, all kinds of fun stuff. So, until next time, I'll see you guys next time.